Hello friends, this video on heat part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now look at an example of natural convection, the process of convection which happens in our, which takes place in our nature during the day and the night. So first we will discuss the convection process which happens during the daytime. Now during the daytime, if you compare the land and the water bodies, water bodies could be oceans, so when you compare land and the oceans, now these kind of scenarios can be practically felt in the coastal areas because in the coastal areas you actually get to have a water body as well as land. So there you can experience these uh, convection effects in a better way. So during the daytime due to the presence of sun, it happens that the land heats up more quickly when compared to the water body. So this is land and this is the water body okay so land gets heated up more quickly now what happens when the land becomes hotter quickly so the hot air so when the land is more hotter so the hot air is present somewhere here right so during daytime this is hot and this is cold quickly now what happened is the hot air here that expands because the air also near the surface that gets heated up. So as it gets heated up, it expands. When it expands, it becomes less dense and then it moves up. Now when the hot air moves up, what happens? A vacuum gets created here. So who fills that vacuum? That vacuum is filled by the cold air which is coming from the sea. So therefore, a bunch I mean, of air will be flowing from the cold sea towards the land and that's how this air will fill up this space and what is happening to the hot air it is just going up and this is coming here and again it is getting heated and it is moving up and again when it is moving up this hot air which in turn is again coming here it is again going to come back here and that's how it is like a cycle and this cycle will continue taking place but in course of this cycle what is happening there is a bunch of cool air which is flowing from water or from the sea towards the land and this is known as sea breeze this is called sea breeze. So those living in the coastal areas, if they want to experience the sea breeze, they should construct their houses in such a way that the windows and the doors are facing the ocean. Because during the daytime, cool air will be flowing from the side of the ocean towards the side of the land. So this cool sea breeze can be experienced in coastal areas during daytime. So this is, so in the concept of sea breeze, you see that convection plays the most important role. Now what happens during night? Exactly the opposite thing happens during night. At night, the land gets colder quickly than the sea. So it becomes now, the way land gets heated up quickly, in a similar way, land becomes cold also quickly. So when it becomes cold quickly, comparatively, the ocean is hot. So therefore, the hot air here is moving up. So a vacuum is created here. This vacuum is filled by the cold air coming from the land. So in this case, you see that cool air is flowing from the land towards the sea and this is known as land breeze. So when do you have land breeze? Land breeze happens during night time from land to sea. Now if you look at both the processes conduction and convection you see both of them need a medium for heat transfer. You remember the ball example in both cases conduction and convection you need somebody to carry the ball. Right? In the case of convection, you just need one person who can actually move from one place to another to carry the ball. And in case of conduction, you need a lot of people who can just pass on the ball from one to the next. But both need a medium for heat transfer. Whether you think of uh, heating a cup of water, so in order to heat the cup also you need particles of the medium. In order to heat the water also you need some medium, either it is water or air or anything. So you take any of these examples, will you be able to feel the effects of convection had there been no air, if it would have been vacuum, in that case you would have not felt the heat. Similarly, when you cook food, the vessel gets heated up, that is due to conduction and that is possible due to the presence of a medium. Now, thank you. 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.